Art Circuit in Michigan kicks off this weekend with the Palmer Park Art Fair in Detroit. It's an opportunity to find a one-of-a-kind piece for your home. Joining us live is Mark Loeb, the director of Palmer Park Art Fair. Thank you for being with us. Good to see you again. Thank you so much. Uh, let's start here on the end with the wearable art. Sure, so the, more and more people are finding that they have limited space in their home, but they still mm -hmm. want art, so they're buying things like this uh, beautiful shawl by Judy Sledge, or some of this jewelry. What is that or, made of, that shawl? Uh, this is a wool shawl. Okay. And it's something that you can wear um, as a casual thing, or you can dress it up a little bit uh, also. Well, you can start with the shawl and then go to the bling here. Right, right, right. So about a third of the artists there at the show will have wearable things such as fibers or jewelry. Uh, the other two-thirds have more conventional art, such as the paintings, sculpture, okay. a lot of functional work, too. Now we're looking at a painting here. Mm -hmm. Yep, so this is more of an abstract by uh, Kevin Pikinski, and we have everything from abstracts through very realistic, um, something for just about every home. Okay, and right next to it? Yeah, yeah that's a dip and uh, chip platter. And then if you keep going, you'll see that there's some other items that are made out of glass. We have a beautiful paperweight and a uh, flower, and then another ceramic piece passed there. So there's functional, there's decorative. Uh, we have over 70 artists, and they're from 16 or 18 states, all juried, so we know they're high quality. We're going to hear like a, a cap, like a beanie? Yup. Keep your head warm if it's a little chilly this weekend. And then uh, this right here. Yeah, it's a kind of a scarf. I'm, not that great with the technical terms because this one actually goes over your head. Oh, very fashionable. And uh, that'll stay on a little bit better if you're not used to scarves. We have some video of a log cabin that we're gonna show the fine folks at home. Sure. Why would we be showing this log cabin? Where is that? Well, the city has invested in rehabbing the log cabin. This is where Senator Palmer used to live. That was his summer home. When, you know how people in Michigan go way up north in the we summer. We go up north or out to the lake or whatever. Right, so Eight Mile Road was way up north back then and that's where he would go in the summer so it'd be a little bit uh, chillier. He wouldn't have to be in the heat of the uh, city. Okay. And uh, the city's been renovating it, and we've also been renovating the um, windows. Uh, the people from Palmer Park have been working on that. And the poster we have this year shows the cabin as well as the uh, uh, look of the windows. Um, okay. if you see that. Um, the Very, windows. Oh, yeah. Windows. Like, so the windows are right. incorporated into the design. Very yeah, cool. So that's kind of cool. That's a limited edition poster and available at the show. Okay, excellent. We have Tony working on a project over here. How's it going? Good, how you doing? Good, you're uh, riding the pony, this bench that you built just for the art of whittling. Yes. What are you uh, creating here for us? This is uh, this carving is called fan carving. Okay. Uh, what makes it unique Oh is... my gosh, I was looking at what you were doing here. I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, well, yeah, that's a, that's a final there. Uh, and that's actually made from one piece of wood. You're kidding. No. Uh, is that a hummingbird? Yes, it is. Oh, right here, right here, Kevin. There you go. That is a hummingbird. How delicate or fragile is that? Uh, they're fairly delicate, but they, they can take a tumble. They're very light. How long does it take you to make something like that? Uh, about an hour, hour and a half. Really? And when did you discover that you had such um, talent in minutia? Well, I've never carved before. I was into woodworking, and I saw this art on a woodworking show. And it really took my interest, so I tried it, and I've been hooked ever since. Wow. Is, are you going to be at the show? Yes. Yeah? But do like a demonstration? I'll, I'll be on my pony carving away. Just like you are right now? Yes. And now you're going to continue carving throughout the show for us? Yes. Right? And do we know what it is going to be a surprise at the end? You... Um, not too much of a surprise. It, it will be a bird, but it might be a different kind of bird. All right. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Good right. to see you. Thank you. Uh, Mark, one last chance to tell everybody sure. at home all about the show. Sure. Well, we're Saturday and Sunday. Saturday is 10 to 7, Sunday 11 to 5. Okay. And the weather looks a little bit cloudier on Saturday, so, you know, that might be another day to go to some of these other events that you've been talking about. But everybody's got to be out there Sunday to support these artists. Sunday. Yeah, that's what makes a difference. You know, us buying art in the city is what helps bring things back to the city. Okay, sir. Thank you for coming in and bringing in all these uh, fine examples. Great. Thank you, and hope to see you out there. Tati, let's go over to you.